This is the standard US road from the latest urban design guide with the official lane widths. And this is the latest advice for a cycle lane with a right turning lane. The problem with this design is the extremely bad angle of crossing. A driver has to look over his or her right shoulder to see if there's someone on a bicycle. For that reason, the Dutch stopped building lanes like this a long time ago. They keep cyclists to the right of motorized traffic and deal with the crossing on the junction itself. To make that possible in a safe way, you can create an extra curb to connect the cycle lanes on both streets. It has the same radius as the existing curb and cars should turn around the cycle path anyway. You can see there's now room for a protecting traffic island. When we open the curb to let cyclists go straight on, we see that we have created a cycle path on the junction itself without needing more space. There's room for this in every corner. To make things more clear for all road users, we could add some color and at the place of crossing, some markings. Now we only have to find a new place for pedestrians to cross the street. For that, we can easily shift back the stopping line a bit, add a zebra crossing and pedestrians have an even better place to cross the street. Now how does this improve safety? A right turning car has to stop here while someone on a bike waits over here in very clear view of the driver. A cyclist will be gone once the car arrives at the crossing place but if they do meet there eye contact is possible because both can look to the front. This design solves a further problem, that of the left turn. You may think this could only work in theory, but this is standard design for Dutch junctions. It really needs no more space than a traditional junction, but for people cycling, it is much safer and it makes riding a lot more pleasant.